Good morning, good morning. <coughs> Welcome back to another video. If you're new around here, my name is SG Eats. And I post food delivery vlogs on the three major platforms here in Singapore, which is uh, Deliveroo, Food Panda, and Grab. Today is CNY day two. I am working a Food Panda shift from 9.30 all the way to 5.30. So that's a solid eight hours of work. So we're starting off today's shift with uh, a double order from Crave at Aukang Mall and then we're delivering into Upper Serangoon Crescent as well as uh, Avenue 5 which if you think about it are in directly opposite directions but it is what it is, we're happy to get these two orders to start off the shift Actually my shift is from 10am but because Food Panda allows us to start 30 minutes earlier I decided to do so and make it a nice round number of 8 hours of work <coughs> and guess what, starting earlier did give me 2 extra orders as compared to if I had started at 10 so yeah, I do like to start my shifts 30 minutes earlier as given by Food Panda because I do find that you can squeeze a few more orders in on a good day too, on a really good day like maybe 3 alright, so we're just gonna pull up to Aukang Mall and grab the Crave orders and then we'll jump on the road and I'll talk to you guys. Thank you. Alright people. We got the two crave orders picked up. Uh, I think it was like 5 minutes wait, so definitely not too bad. Let's jump back on the road and I'll talk to you guys a little bit more. We have picked up the two Crave orders and we're going to be sending the Upper Serangoon Crescent one first. And then after that, I think we need to go to 315 Aukang Avenue 5. CNY Day 1 was pretty good. I think we did like uh, 28 orders or so. And just by the order fees itself, we exceeded $200 in earnings. This is not including the incentive here yeah? because I want to see how much we, how many orders we complete today um, and then I'll allocate the respective incentive. I'm probably not going to work on day 3 which is Monday, I'm going to take that as a rest day and uh, spend some time with friends and family. So yeah! Hello. Thank you. We're gonna head over to our second drop off, which is Alkang Avenue 5, 315. <laughs> We have picked up the third order of today. Actually, it started drizzling, but at the same time, the sun is coming out, so I'm a little bit confused. This is a pretty decent sized order from Coffee Bean. However, we do have drinks. So, I have to think how I want to position this. I'm gonna jump on the road and I'm gonna see you guys at the customer. We have arrived and we're gonna drop off the third order of today, which is from Coffee Bean. I'm just gonna be careful with the plastic because just now the plastic tore already. Don't know why Coffee Bean the plastic bag so fragile. Okay, no spills as well on the drink, so that's brilliant. Let's head up. Just be careful, yeah, because the it's not balanced, so when you open it, it may fall. Oh, okay. So just be careful with that. Thank you. Thank you. Now we're getting another one. Picking up from Texas Chicken and dropping off at 8 Riverville Link. $5.28, let's do it. Hello. Thank you. Thank you so much. 
Okay, so as you guys saw, we just dropped off that order and we've gotten another one. It's asking us to go to EAT Eat at Compass One and then coming back to where we are right now. I think it should be this same condo. Yeah, just as an adjacent block only. So we're gonna go pick up the order at Compass One and I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright guys, so as you saw we just picked up our EAT order and as we were pulling up, the orders turned into a double so we now have to pick up from Toast Box as well. Alright guys, picked up the double order and Panda told me that I was too far away from Toast Box so I have to take a picture of the receipt. Bloody idiots. <laughs> Alright, I think we're good. Alright guys, we are back on the road. The toast box and uh, EAT order safely picked up. We're headed off to drop off to our first customer. Um, I think this is orders 4 and 5 if I'm not wrong. This morning has been going really smoothly. So 9.30, um, it, the time now is 11am. So it's been like uh, one and a half hours and we're in and we're on to five orders or around there. So I'm really happy with how things are going. Okay, so in any case, um, we're gonna deliver this order and then we'll continue pushing on until 5.30. I'm very um, curious to see how many orders we're gonna get done today. I'm thoroughly enjoying myself so far. I think when you go out there and work with no expectations, then uh, yeah, it, it really becomes a joy to work. But once you expect yourself to like for example hit 50 bucks in 2 hours or complete 5 orders in 1 hour I'm, I'm giving unrealistic expectations right but it's these types of expectations that will definitely pull you down So yeah we're headed over we have about 3 more minutes which is about 1km And I'm gonna see you guys at the customer's location alright see you in a bit look good. I'm happy with that. Okay, and I am ringing the bell because I don't want to hang it on the gate. I'm afraid that it will spill. Hello. Can you take out the top? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Congratulations on hitting 800 orders. Okay, we're gonna go over to the next customer and I'll see you guys there in 3, 2, 1. Okay, getting another order, picking up from Rose Paradise. 267 Compass Filling and I believe we're going to Avenue 10 to drop it off at 411. We'll accept that order and I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, I think we waited about 15 minutes for the order. 10 to 15 minutes, I'm not sure. Uh, but we're going over to Avenue 10 if I'm not wrong. Let's get this packed first. And even if it's uh, food that won't spill, I always like to hook it up just to make sure everything is extra safe. Yeah, we're going to Avenue 10, lovely. Okay, in that case, I'll bring you guys back when I'm reaching the customer. So I'll see you all in a bit. Okay, we're here. I'm just gonna park here because I can't be bothered to bring my e-bike up the curb and everything. In any case, the lift is right here as well. So, let's go. Okay, getting another one and it looks like our search and uh, extra incentive is coming in because this order is paying 10 bucks and we're only going to drop off nearby at Aokang Central 830 so that's great. 10 bucks for that distance is amazing. Let's keep going guys. Huh, 
<laughs> oh my god. Talk about a gigantic order. Uh, okay. Alright, so yeah, this is a pretty gigantic order, but the good news is we are only going like less than a km away to drop it off. So that's a good thing for us. Okay, gotta believe in ourselves, guys. Alright, beautiful. The distance really is less than a uh, km. Let's get it. Uh, level 8, please. Thank you. They order for what village? Eh? How many packets they order? These are from Haogang How How 1. Cyclo. This one is still okay. Mid town only. Yeah, it's very yeah. near. Pay, how much you paying getting paid for this? Uh, this one $9. Ooh. Food panda. Yeah, mine also. Ten dollar bro. Or maybe because they tip one dollar lah. Yeah. The search fee shook lah. One order like that. Eight, nine dollars shook. We put here first lah. I think they're not gonna answer also. I cancelled three orders lah. Oh shit, why ah? Because all the people are new. Oh, far. So I keep cancelling, cancelling. Some more you bicycle, huh? Yeah. Oh, you can do food panda or? Yeah. Panda lah, panda. Oh. Weekend, I will like panda. Because weekend, panda incentive better. Yesterday, I buy bicycle, I did 113. February, I did 114. 44. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, I did 113. That's very good. Pizza hat should be okay lah. Yeah, I, I cycle there also. But at Coven, you still okay lah? Coven, the auntie, the start go on already. Ah. I don't want to go already. But then, they ask you go Heartland more eh? No, I will cancel. I will reject my order. You don't, you don't care your acceptance rate or anything? Ah? This one only for fun only. La. Oh, uh, okay lah, true, uh, true, true. Because I got full-time job, this one must exercise, then do all this lah. Yeah. Okay, so today $200, brother. Bye-bye. Ah. <laughs> okay, bye -bye. I like chatting to riders. Such a joy. And he's a very nice guy as well. Okay, so um, we're headed over to Simon Road, Pizza Hut. And we're going to be delivering it into Avenue 3. So I'm going to take Upper Serangoon Road. Uh, and yeah, we're on our way. I'm going to see you guys when I'm reaching uh, Pizza Hut at Simon Road. Hopefully they don't give me the wrong item again like yesterday. Uh, but yeah, let's go. Ooh, we got a fellow Comex rider. Nice. Okay, we're going to Aokang Avenue 3, and that is only 5 minutes away. Beautiful. And then I will see you guys at the customer. Catch you all in a bit. Alright, guys. We have gotten another order. Um, it's speaking from Burger King at Aokang River Court and then sending along this same avenue but a uh, different block. So all good, all good. It's a really short distance and I believe it was paying off like nine plus dollars so I'm happy with that. I'm gonna see you guys when we reach Burger King. See you in a bit. Penda 1713. Thank you. I am honestly not sure if I've ever picked up a hot drink from Burger King before. But we'll see how it goes. I am gonna put it in this uh, cup holder just to be safe. Okay, and then we're headed over to Avenue 3 again. And it's actually really nearby. Yeah, it's literally back to the way we came from. So yeah, see you guys at the customer. Alright guys, we are dropping off order number 10, which is pretty good if you ask me. Let's see, place on the shoe rack and ring my bell. Okay. Let's just do a quick update on our status so far. We have 10 deliveries done, we're $73.61 in. Woohoo, another order. Brilliant. Let's see what it is. 
Alkang Avenue 5 pickup, drop off Upper Serangoon Road 464. Yeah, we're doing that. $9.69. Amazing. Alright, see you guys at the next restaurant. Alright, guys. We picked up that uh, Indian Muslim food order. And we have a very, very short journey, 750 meters to drop this off. And if I'm not wrong, this order was paying out like 9 bucks or so. So that's friggin' awesome if you ask me. Uh, Panda search is really booming. <laughs> I think yesterday we did like what, 26, 28 orders. And we earned over 200 bucks, so that's really, really great. Um, I'm not going to have any expectations on like in terms of earning amount for today as long as we complete as many orders as we can and uh, we enjoy ourselves that's my main goal so let's uh, head over to our customer and uh, at the coffee shop over there we also picked up a iced coffee because I was feeling a little bit hungry I usually don't eat for the entirety of the shift that I'm working I don't know why I just don't feel hungry and I can like not eat and just push through the entire day and I'm still alert and everything of course I do grab myself a coffee if I'm feeling sleepy. Um, I'm not going to be dozing off on the road, right? So yeah, damn, it really is a very short journey. Uh, we just need to make a left turn into this car park and then we're at our customer. Ah, I hate this. Just thank the guy for helping me open the gantry and we should be here. We're picking up from KFC Alkang Mall, dropping off at Alkang Avenue 3. A little far, but that's okay. And it's paying out $8.49. Okay, see you guys in a bit. Okay, <clears throat> successfully picked that up. It's a pretty big order, and it's a cash order as well. $59.44. And we're headed over to Alkang Avenue 3, Block 17. So, it's a little far as I mentioned. But I'm pretty okay because it's paying out quite a lot. And uh, well, we're in a groove of things, we're in a very good flow. So let's keep going. I'll see you guys at the customer. Okay guys, we are dropping off order number 12. Should we this one? Hello, Food Panda. Okay, so total is... I put, I put here first, yeah? Okay. Total is 59.44. I need to change. Thank you so much, thank you so much. Sing in quite Alrighty. Very nice uncle, who we'll says to keep the change, so there's like a 60 cent tip or something like that. Alright, <clears throat> order number 12 is done. We are currently $91.79 in, so that's pretty good. I'll bring you guys back when we get another order. I got 5959 5960 Food Panda. Okay guys, we have picked up orders 13 and 14 from Wingstop. And you know how Wingstop has a very bad rep for taking very long to prepare orders? I find that this Wingstop here at Aukang River Court actually prepares the orders pretty quick. And I'm, I, don't, I don't find myself having to wait that long. Well, maybe it's just the location or the outlet, you know. But yeah, I, I honestly don't mind picking from Wingstop. Okay. Our first order is at Avenue 3, Block 1. I think I know where we're going. Hello. Total is seventeen forty. So I give you two seventy lah. Okay. 
Give me a second. Huh? Happy New Year. Alrighty. Brilliant. Uh, I'll just take this there. Okay, that's dropped off. And then now we have to go over to Aukang Avenue 7. Riverfront Residences. Pretty easy. Just a straight road down. Uh, the customer sort of like tipped me. So it's 1740. Eh? Yeah, 17.40 gave me 20 bucks and I gave him back 2 bucks. So that's about 60 cent tip. <laughs> Alright, we are in Riverfront Residences. And I just wanted to mention the time now is 2 pm and we are delivering order number 14 if I'm not wrong. So I was checking just now and at 1.30, which is the halfway mark, we're working 8 hours and uh 1.30 was the halfway mark for completing 4 hours already and we had done 12 orders so that's an average of 3 orders per hour that is really really good honestly I am like so surprised with how the CNY deliveries and uh, the earnings are it's a very positive thing so I think that maybe next year I'll do the same thing <laughs> who knows eh? Okay guys, order number 14 successfully dropped off. We're gonna wait for another one and I'll see you guys when we do. Uh, no, that wasn't another order. It was Panda asking me, am I having problems finding the customer? I already dropped it off. <laughs> Alright, we are on the way to pick up order number 15, which is from Toastbox Aukang Mall. Let's see if it's ready. Brilliant. Alright friends, this is pretty much going to be a less than 2km journey. Uh, the time now is 2.26 or 2.25. Yeah, 2.25, coming up 2.30. And if we started from 9.30, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, that's 5 hours. And we are sending order number 15. So, so you take that and you find out how many orders we're doing per hour. That's 3. Solid 3 orders per hour. Honestly, that is very good, especially for a weekend. You really want to be sending 3 to 4 orders per hour. Anything less than that I feel is pretty disappointing. And I think a plus point for us riders this CNY is that there is a surge, there is the extra fee per order, and uh, yeah, a lot of good things coming our way. Um, I don't find that the surge or the extra fees is especially a lot on today. But yesterday, wow, you could really tell the surge was awesome. I was getting like $9, $10, $11 per order and these are just single orders and like I don't even mind long waiting times at this point because the fee is so high you know you kind of wish that this type of uh, orders came on a daily basis but the fact of the matter is no it won't on normal days your orders will only pay you what 4 bucks 5 bucks on good days you know maybe 6 but never I've, I haven't really seen higher than that unless I do the Serangoon, Serangoon zone I am thoroughly enjoying myself. I think one very important thing when you're being a food delivery rider is to manage your own expectations. I've spoken about it before. We have about one more km to go and I'll see you guys at the customer. Ooh, this is a sick Lamborghini. Jeez. Okay, we're getting another one. King of Fried Rice from Aukang Mall and then drop off at Avenue 7. Yeah, let's do it. Alright guys, and just as we're reaching King of Fried Rice, we've got a $7.45 add-on from Li Ho Tea. Let's do it. Oh, you have $4.41. Thank you. Now we head over to Li Ho. I love how these orders very quickly become doubles. So this is order 16 and 17. So we are definitely making excellent progress. I got a uh, food panda 7327. Oh my god. We're getting a third add-on. And it's also from Li Ho. Okay, you tell them. 
I just got an additional order. So it's uh, 2 7 and 2 9. Is 2 8 done already? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah, 11 cups. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This one included? Yes? Okay. Two nine is mine also. Sorry? No, two seven two nine. See the food panda number. Yeah, thank you. Sorry if you don't mind. Can you help me uh, put the plastic into my hand? I cannot hold already. Thank you, ah. Oh my god, guys. This is what? Stack of four? Jeez. This shit is gonna be amazing. You know what else is gonna be amazing? Fitting all this into my delivery bag. <laughs> so I guess it was a good thing that we were stuck at Liho for quite some time. Because uh, they just kept adding on orders. Holy, this is the first time I have a stack of four, to be honest. I've only gotten a stack of three at max. Okay, time now is 3.09. I think by the time we get this done, it'll be like coming close to 4 o'clock. I got a slight feeling, but we'll see, we'll see. I first want to make sure that all this is packed nicely. Alright. Uh. Okay, hope you guys can see. This is how we're doing it. Unfortunately, the king of fried rice order is going to have to sit on top of all the cold food. It's probably gone cold already considering how long we had to wait at Liho. But alright, we're going to be on our way. And I'll see you guys at the first customer's location. Hello. Thank you, thank you. Thank all right. you. Thank you. Happy New Year. Hello. Thank you. Happy New Year. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know if it's unlucky or just bad luck or unfortunate. But the very first king of fried rice order that I picked up is the very last order to send. So yeah, a bit sad for that customer, but it is what it is. We are done with that stack of four, and we are already getting another one. Paying $7.61. Picking from Floy Thai Kitchen, Upper Serangoon Road, and then dropping off at Tampanese Road 115. Let's do it. Time now is 3.39, so we have two more hours to 5.30 and I only have one more battery from my camera. So I'm gonna film as little as possible, but still try and give you the overall experience. Catch you guys in a bit. 407? Yes, 407. Okay, yeah. Two, ah? Huh? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, oh my god, guys. So we're picking up this order number 20, so that brings us up to 50 deliveries. And uh, I nearly went past the LTA camera. So actually this shop is um, a little hard to access. And I had to go up on the sidewalk for a short while to get to this shop. And oh my god, there's a new camera along Upper Serangoon Road. It's closer to the traffic light ahead there. Jeez, nearly got myself another fine. Alright, where are we headed to? We're headed over to 115 Tampanese Road. Okay, it's a two minute journey and I'll see you guys there. So I wanted to talk a little bit about getting fines from LTA for riding on the pavement. Basically in Singapore, e-bikes aren't allowed on the pavement. For being on the pavement, you can be fined 300 and for exceeding 10 kilometers per hour, it'll be another 300. And from what I know, it's a little bit hard to appeal against these um, fines. So what we try to do as riders is just don't ride on the pavement. But there will be instances where to get to a particular restaurant, you need to jump on the pavement for a little bit. And we don't ride recklessly on the pavement, right? We are careful, we slow down when there are pedestrians, and basically, we don't cause anybody harm. So that's my opinion on it. I think that LTA can be a little bit more lenient in terms of, you know, these are regulations and who gets fined and whatever, whatnot. But yeah, I mean, being the government, I guess it's a little hard to balance everything. On one hand, you got pedestrians that have been hit by electric vehicles and gotten injured. And on the other hand, you have uh, these delivery riders who use e-bikes for their daily work. 
and they get into accidents on the road because drivers just don't give a damn about us riders and our safety. So yeah, I mean, as much as we can stay off the pavements, but we also need to be safe on the road, it's definitely a fine line to walk. Okay, we're getting yet another one. Now we're going to wing stop and dropping off along, I think this is Avenue 5. Yeah, we'll, we'll do that for sure. Five nine seven two. Thank you. See you guys, wing stop isn't that bad. Alright guys, we have crossed the uh, 50 order mark. I think this is delivery 52. So we definitely made excellent progress today. We stopped at like 28 yesterday. So to hit 50, I mean the maximum tier for incentive on Foodpanda is 60 I believe. But I don't think we can hit 60. If we extend it to uh, maybe 2 hours more on the shift then maybe we'll hit 60. But I don't think we will within the time frame that we have left. The time now is 4.10, our shift is still 5.30 so we have 1 hour and 20 minutes to go. So that's maybe like 3 or 4 more orders, so we'll be around 55 or so. I am not expecting us to hit 60 orders right now. Uh, having hit 50, I'm very happy already. I'm just gonna continue doing my shift, enjoy working and uh, we'll see how it goes. Ah, so windy, so nice. Alright guys, we're getting a Panda Mart order, which I think is still okay. Let's hope it's not a lot of items. Uh, it's picking up from 302 and then we're sending to Okang Avenue 7, which is nearby here as well. So I think I'm pretty okay with that. Let's go. Uh, food Panda. Panda. Ah, 8950. Yeah. Hey, can you ask a customer to refund me? Banana. So no stock ah? What are you doing? We'll remove the order or on, on, on. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, I check I check with dispatch. Cause on my handphone I cannot change. I must ask Fu Panda. Ask them to change. They say they check. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Let me quickly check this for you. Come on, Panda, you're wasting my time. It's coming for dirty. I honestly don't understand why the Panda machine and the vendor app is so difficult to use. Please politely apply this and when you reach out to live stream, if your next order is What? Okay, I am going to screenshot this convo in case it comes back to bite me. Okay, we're gonna send this order. And I've taken screenshots of the conversation I had with customer service just to protect myself. So we're headed over to the Florida, which is a condo along Alkang Avenue 7. And uh, yeah, we're gonna send this. Okay, you know what? The, the customer service did say to get the customer to reach out to live chat for help. So I'm not gonna give the $5, I'm gonna give it back to the shop. Right there? Tell Google Yong live chat. And then you have a refund. Okay. So, you don't need to pay me. Okay? Mm. Okay. <laughs> oh, that guy was really trusting to give me 5 bucks. But, alright, we're gonna get the customer to reach out to live chat to get their refund. And then, uh, we'll leave it as it is. I mean, as I mentioned, I have already screenshot the conversation that I had with the Food Panda customer service. So, I think I'm pretty much covered. I'm gonna head over to the Florida and I'll see you guys there. Hello. Okay, the shop will don't have any banana, so you can reach out to customer uh pen food panda customer service and ask for a refund. Thank you. The lady didn't seem like she cared, but okay. Alright, we're getting a double order. Damn. Picking up from Wok Hey. 
dropping off at Alcom Street 32 and then all the way over to Avenue 8. We'll accept that and we'll head over to Wok Hei Alcom Mall. The time now is 4.39 so you have a just a little under one hour to complete this shift. So far everything is okay so uh, I'll see you guys when we reach Wok Hei. Hello, I got 719 and 720. 719, 720 not yet. 720 not yet? Okay. Thank you. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we've gotten the two walkway orders picked up. It is an incredibly hot day. I can tell you I'm sweating so much right now, but thank goodness I've got like balaclava on so that it absorbs the sweat. And we need to go... Uh, oh, Alkang Street 32. No wonder you're so far. Okay, Alkang Street 32 is basically where wing stop is. So it's pretty far. Okay, let's hook up these orders and then we can get on the road. Talk to you guys a little bit more. Ooh. I gotta say, what I love working as a food delivery rider it is extremely hot today, my god. I think we may hit like 35, 36 degrees, I'm not sure. And even if I'm wrong, uh, definitely feels that hot. Hello. Thank you. Hey, hey, thank you. Hey, happy new year. Hey, thank you so much. Thank happy you. new year. Hey, bye bye. Bye bye. Oh my god, guys. Isn't that lovely? Give an ang pao. And if you guys can see here, there's a one dollar tip as well. Thank you, customer. You are so kind. And uh, in case I forgot to mention, yesterday the ang pao that we got, it was two bucks inside. So hopefully, I remember to add the two bucks in. <laughs> Alright. Let's go. Drop off the second of this double. Oh no. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna do it. We're being sent into Serangoon North. This was exactly what I was afraid of. But it is paying $9.28. So yeah, we'll accept that. Probably gonna be today's last order. I do want to swap out my battery. Uh, my battery started at 9.30 and the time now is uh, 5.15. So I guess you could round up and say that it did last 8 hours until 5.30. But I do need to swap it out. So yeah, I will swap out the battery and I see you guys at McDonald's. Hopefully the wait isn't that long and uh, we'll send the last order and then head back home. guys the time now is 5 44 i reached the mcdonald's around 5 20 so we had close to 30 minutes of waiting time and we are going to send this last order and i'm not sure if you guys can see but the sky is getting pretty dark i have a dinner to attend and i'm supposed to reach at six uh, but i guess we'll be late for that uh, Right, so we're on the way. We only have about 3 minutes, 850 meters. So that's a good thing for us. This is order number 25. So with yesterday's deliveries, we are exceeding 50 orders already. So that's pretty good for us. Okay, let's go. We're really trying to hurry a little bit while still being safe on the road. It's definitely glad that we're ending today's shift, but at the same time, I'm pretty happy with the result. Honestly, I was thinking to myself uh, if I should just rest for CNY, but I'm so glad that I decided to come out and work. And uh, I think we'll be pretty pleased with our earnings for these two days.
Gonna have to squeeze in. Ooh, mad skills. Mad skills, buddy. Alright. Woo! Finally, we're done. Okay, the time now is 5.50. I'm gonna cut the video to when I'm at home and I'll give you guys a summary of today's shift and earnings. Catch you guys in a bit. Hello guys, we are finally back home and I'm gonna go through with you today's earnings and combine it with yesterday's earnings and we'll do a wrap up on our CNY day one and day two. So for today, here is how much we earned. We have 25 deliveries done and a total of $188.31 earned. So yesterday we had 28 deliveries done and that was $231.24. $419.55 and not to forget, we have um, the 50 order incentive for this weekend which pays us $98. So if we add 98, we are at $517.55. That is the highest earnings I've ever done and I've like recorded it down on video. The previous time was about $430 and uh, that wasn't recorded on video. Uh, it was only partially recorded. If you go back and watch, um, I think it was the who orders food at 5.30am, that video. Um, I think for that one we did 55 orders. Today we've only done um, 25 plus 28 is 53 orders. So that is like two orders less than that video. But as you can see, the earnings are incredibly different. So today is $517.55 and uh, we spent a total of like 18 hours online. So if you divide by 18, that's about $28.75 per hour. So that's the highest that I've ever gotten for a per hour basis. As well as a weekend of, you know, Saturday, Sunday. Um, if we divide it into per order, we are basically being paid $9.76 per order. And I divided that into 53 orders. So you know what, it has been a wonderful, wonderful CNY weekend. I am so happy that um, I decided to come out and work. And uh, you know what, for sure, <laughs> next CNY, I'll be out working like this again. So I hope you guys enjoyed my video on CNY day one and day two. Right now my channel is at about 313 subscribers or so. Uh, I haven't checked, but I do have a goal of hitting 500 subs by June. So help me achieve my goals, you know, I put out content that you guys enjoy and you guys help by subscribing, liking the video, sharing the video. So you help me, I help you. Thank you for following along. This was an awesome CNY day one and day two earnings. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Sing and Kwai Le, Gong Si Fa Peace.